Hi you guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Camilla. I make videos all about content creation and social media, entrepreneurship, and more. Today I have a UGC video for you guys. It's kind of gonna be a day in my life. I have a lot of stuff to do and film and I'm kind of upset right now because for the third day in a row, it is overcast. So it is just dark and gloomy outside and I was really hoping for some brighter, more natural lighting for my videos. I have like six or seven UGC videos to film that all have deadlines within the next few days and I'm also busy in the next few days. So I am a little bit stressed with all of this. Most of these gigs or almost all of them have come from Upwork. That is where I got them. I'm gonna start my day with some planning of kind of some scripts and each UGC brief. So I'm gonna make a coffee and then kind of organize my thoughts on which to do first and so forth. My condo does not have the biggest windows, like they're not like floor to ceiling or anything. It is a newer condo. It was literally built in 2023, but that's just not the style. So I have to work with the overcast and with the lighting. Let's see what we can get done today. Let me make my coffee. By the way, I'm making iced coffee. I love using these like sphere ice cubes because they don't melt in my coffee as quickly. And that's how I make my coffee. It takes a few minutes, but it's so worth it. And I have it like every single morning. It's already 1030, but I still feel like I just woke up. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and work on a skincare UGC deal that I have. She wants three videos from me, so I really have to get started on that. Once I have the notes and kind of the concept in my head for each video, I'm gonna feel a lot better and it's gonna be way easier to just record everything. If you're really busy, like, with UGC or anything in general, really just writing everything down in a to-do list and breaking up everything that you have to do is really going to help you. This is kind of a weird angle, but I like to use Notion to track all of like my to-do lists and all of my UGC projects. I use a template that is already just existing in Notion. It's just like a default template so that it breaks down my UGC products by the status, like whether I've started it or I'm in progress, my due date, and like my priority. So this is just pretty much what it looks like, my tasks. I will break down all of my UGC deals, whether I've started them or not, uh, followed by due date and priority. And what's really great about this template is all of these projects you can go into. Say I wanted to look at my plasma pen UGC project. I've put in it, I've put in, in all of these notes, like talking notes that I want in my video and so forth. So all of these projects have have notes in them. And yeah, thank you, Notion. I just finished filming a UGC video. I sent another one to the brand on Upwork and I just finished having lunch too. I'm gonna take my dogs out for a little walk and I'll be back to get down to more videos. Hey guys, so it is almost 4 p.m. and I'm pretty much finishing up the day for content. The, the natural sunlight is going down as well, so there's not much that I can do, although there is one video I can do tonight. It's a nighttime routine get unready with me video. My dog is like chewing on something so loud right now. Sorry. I don't know who else is like this, but I made this coffee at 10 a.m. and it's almost 4 p.m. and I'm still drinking it. I do this every single day. Like it's just what I do. My boyfriend thinks it's so weird. It's almost like I don't like drinking the caffeine all at once. I actually don't do too well with caffeine, but I just love having a sip of coffee like here and there throughout my day and I don't care if it's the same cup. Today was a pretty productive day. I think tomorrow I'm just gonna jam out some more videos because once again I have like so many due in the next few days. This is something where I feel very blessed to be busy with UGC because I've never been this busy. 
obviously I'm a little stressed because I have some other obligations and like events in the next few days where I won't be able to be at home and to film. So that's really where your time management comes into play when you're a content creator and when you have deadlines because most of the time you'll have to be home filming or at least with the UGC that I make, I don't really like go out to places and I don't really do anything in public. It's usually I film all at home. So just like organizing my day like that is really helpful. Come on up. Oh, oh. <laughs> I got a dog. I have two chihuahuas by the way. So yeah, I am really happy actually with how April is going to go. I will just like spoil it here because I know I do upload income reports. March was a very bad month for me. Like I barely made any money from UGC and even though I felt like I was still pretty busy, that's just how it goes sometimes. Like I feel like it really fluctuates and also a lot of the deals that I'm working on right now, I got within the last few days of March. So obviously I'm not, I got them in March, but I'm not gonna be paid in March because I don't really get paid up front. I know some creators do. Hopefully I can start implementing that because I always, just being a creator in general, you always have that like fear that you're not gonna be paid. Anyways, I got a lot of the deals I'm working on right now in the last few days of March, but they will count towards April. I think April is actually going to be one of my first months that I hit over a thousand dollars in UGC. Like I'm already far above a thousand. I think I may come close or exceed $1,500. I just feel super busy. I feel blessed and I'm really happy with how it is going right now. Some of the deals that, mo most of the deals that I'm working on now are from Upwork, but others have actually been like Instagram deals that have reached out to me or that I converted from a gifted collab to a paid collab. I don't have anything else to shoot right now, so I am just going to kind of organize myself and do some things for myself, like I need a shower really badly. I am enrolled part-time in a marketing, a digital marketing course because I'm always trying to just expand my knowledge in marketing. I'm trying to do a career shift actually into marketing. So this is my first step in doing that. And I take an evening course. It's for a, it's a digital marketing certificate. So I have that from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. tonight. I do it twice a week. So I'll have some me time until then. If you guys have any questions at all on UGC or content creation or Upwork, whatever it is, let me know down below. I am actually thinking, and this is something I've been thinking about for a while, but I've just wanted to kind of get to a place where I can speak of it in confidence. I do want to push out a beginner UGC guide and some of it will have some free components, but others is gonna be paid for content. It's gonna be relatively cheap, especially compared to some other digital courses out there. I do want to make a beginner guide kind of step-by-step, -step, how to begin UGC, where to go, what you should spend your money on and what you shouldn't and everything else kind of under the sun from like email pitches to great hooks to use and so forth. Let me know if any of you would be interested in that kind of content because I am trying to kind of put everything together in my head and how I would make this to help people. If you're still watching, I really appreciate you. Thank you and once again, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support my channel as well. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, those sounds come from my dog. She like has this like nasal thing. Anyways, guys, thank you. I will see you in the next one. Now she's growling. Mia. You guys, it's because she gets jealous. If it's okay, Mia. Oh. Whoa.